Welcome back, everyone. Heat advisory still in place for central and southern areas. We're free, though, for northern areas. This right here is in effect uh, for these areas until 8 p.m. this evening for those heat index values up to 108 degrees. Yesterday, we saw those heat index values up to 115, so a little bit better. That's the reason why we don't have excessive heat warnings going on today like what we've had for the past several, several days. And uh, speaking of that, uh, yesterday, Governor John Bill Edwards actually... Uh, issued a state of emergency and uh, the reason why is because we've had a record number of excessive heat warnings that have been issued uh, for state ever since June 27th and what that proclamation pretty much does is it uh, allocates some state resources over toward kind of some heat related issues that we have going on throughout the state. You know um, yesterday made 21 days of uh, triple digit heat uh, 100 degrees or higher you know we're probably going to snap that today can't promise it but I do have a high of only 98 for today so we're probably going to snap that for today but uh, we have severe droughts across parts of the state as well but as far as those temperatures are concerned out there, you notice that we have temperatures in the upper 80s, low 90s in some locations, 90 degrees there at the airport, 88 in Winfield, 91 right now in Oakdale. So that cool front continues to ooze into the area. It's now getting to kind of the central southern portions of the state. It's just south in the metro, as you see right there. And you also notice a little bit of cloud coverage associated with it as well, maybe a little bit of a shower there toward Monroe. And that's the reason why we're going to have to hold on to that 10% chance of activity for today. But most of us by far are going to be dry today as this drier air mass moves in from the north. So as we take a look at the upper levels, you notice upper level high pressure has shifted off to the west and so that's allowing that cool front to drape into the area, ooze into the area if you will. That trough that's responsible with, for that cold front will continue to move on to the east and northeast and as that's the case upper level high pressure moves back into our area as we head into the later half of the week and then this right here is actually a blocking pattern. It's what we call Omega, omega block and uh, it's where we have low pressure to the east of it and low pressure to the west of it and it blocks out high pressure in place and uh, unfortunately that's going to be the case as we roll into the weekend but uh, hopefully it'll get moved soon after that but as far as today's concern most of us dry mostly sunny conditions that cool air oozes into the area but we're going to have to hold on to that 10 percent chance of activity once again and then much cooler conditions to wake up to on wednesday mornings that dry air kind of seeps into the area we're going to be waking up to temperatures in the mid 60s there for your wednesday morning with highs only in the low to mid 90s completely dry mostly sunny conditions for your wednesday 10 percent chance of activity for the metro in places north and west places east and south up to a 20 percent chance uh, for today if you do receive anything consider yourself lucky and those rain chances uh, there or those rain amounts they're not going to be too much but you notice triple digit heat wants to go further to the south got oakdale at 101 today opelousa is at 102 because it's going to take a little bit longer for that cool air to seep in those areas but i've got mid to upper 90s for our northern parishes and then upper 90s here for the central areas for our highs today. So cooler but still a little bit dangerous as far as the heat's concerned. Still going to be a little bit above the average. Our average is 94 this time of year. We're going to be right at that though tomorrow for your Wednesday. You notice we zero out the rain chances though heading into the weekend. Unfortunately those overnight lows a little bit on the cooler side there with that dry air on Wednesday and Thursday mornings in the mid 60s closer to 70 starting out for your Friday. Then those overnight lows get into the 70s and we have triple digits that get into the weekend with the highest on Saturday at 103.